Hello, replay viewers. I haven't done a scope from here for a while, so I thought I would. Conditions are a bit extreme today, and they were even worse a little while ago. Was it just that? When I had to row out, and oh my goodness, I wasn't quite sure if I was going to make it or not. Hopefully, the wind noise isn't too much. There's a bit of a east wind from the sea breeze that's worked its way in. So, I had quite a row to. Uh, to get from the dock to here, the dock is right behind me, I start over on the right and go up along shore where it's not so bad and then cut across really, really fast and hopefully get uh, get swept down onto my boat before I'm, I'm past it. Yep, there's no fish. There's fish in the river, but there's no fish in my boat. I'm in a sailboat with no fishing rod. And believe it or not, I'm not sailing and my motor's not on. I'm tied up. The current here is, is pouring out. It's a little stronger than usual. And I'm in a funny little spot that that seems to like to go back and forth. And I've been doing a lot of that in the last, uh, last few minutes. Hi, Roddy. So if you look on the far side, those boats over there aren't, aren't doing these gyrations. This is just me being in, in a very odd place where you get... Uh, Get swung back and forth a lot for, for, for about four hours. You, I don't mind it too much. I get used to it. I, I'd rather it wasn't happening, but uh, that's not a choice. Yep, no fish. That's right, no fish. Are you uh, a fisherman, uh, Kavanaugh Fred? No fishing pole, that's right. There's a zillion fishing poles all around me so many boats in this river now you can just get a glimpse when I when I pivot the other way there's a, a big marina behind me not this little one with the uh, with the motorboat but there's another big one past him and there's one in front of me and oh my goodness there are quite a few different uh, places to keep your boat and no I don't like uh, don't like seafood Roddy I don't touch it so thus the no fishing pole and no fish It's nice to see the fish jumping. Well, the fish don't complain that I'm not eating them, right? They're quick, straighten that out a little bit. Not even tuna. Hi, Karen. Karen, I'm, uh, I'm tied up on the mooring ball. Oh, look at this pivot. You've seen one of these, uh, Karen, I think, seen one of these uh, scopes from here before. Yep, definitely no shrimp. And uh, the mooring ball I was on when I did this the first time, oh, I eat other stuff, obviously. It is even, has even more extreme uh, pivots. This seems to be... Okay. Is that really slipping that much? Yes, it is. Here we go again. This, this thing's driving me crazy. I have a rubber, a rubber piece around the, uh, the metal it's attached to, but it's still still tends to sag. I'm not sure what's going on there. Yeah, it's uh, it's gripping all right. So this is not much of a scope. Where am I? I'm in the Merrimack River. There's not many places on the East Coast. Hi, Alan. There's not many places on the East Coast with the current that's this extreme. Uh, north of here in Portsmouth, the Piscataquah River is 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 worse, at least as bad as this, and maybe a little worse. Um, the river that runs up, runs up to Bath in Maine. Oh, you're in Warwick. Okay, that's not far away. The river that runs up to Bath uh, is even worse. How did that piece they sewed on go? Well, st strangely enough, the uh, well, we didn't sew it. I guess we didn't sew it on. We kind of reattached things. Uh, he took it home to finish. Uh, we did three sections. Or we tried to do three sections today. I tried to do four sections today and we did three and the fourth one was a failure. We changed from white thread to blue thread and then the sewing machine stopped. Uh, hi Chad! The sewing machine stopped behaving itself and after uh, repeated disassembly of, a, of the part that tensions the thread it looks like something's broken so I took a picture and I sent it off for help to the company. Uh, 
Homer was taking the picture the first time, and he ended up taking... Well, the first time he took 100 pictures, and then the second try he took 400 pictures, because he obviously, apparently his finger is very heavy on the button. No, I'm on the old boat. See the solar panel? This is the old boat. The new boat, you will not see me on the new boat for a considerable amount of time. It's not going to be ready. Hopefully that new boat comes out of the water tomorrow, and I can do a few things that involve being on shore. I sent away for a few items today from Beirut. Who's Jesse? Yeah, Karen, you, I told you all this. But a lot of the work on the, uh, the new boat is work I can't do. It's going to be done at the yard, so it's going to be hauled out. Here's another nice swing. Woo! Um, I'm pretty good. It's a nice cool day. Fun, pleasant breeze. Well, Roddy, the, uh, <laughs> the new one has panels as of this minute. But the moment that boat gets on shore, those panels are going onto the ground. And hopefully they can be reattached in a better location. If not, well, I'm not sure what I'll do. Um, I definitely don't want them over my head. And they're attached to the, the sunshade over my head, and if that doesn't fold back, that will come off too. All right, well, uh, my GPS wanders a bit, so I'm not in Salisbury. I'm actually in Newburyport. Uh, the map might be showing Salisbury, but that's just a little bit off to the side. Yeah, you're, you're up late. You don't get, uh, you don't see this in your, in your home country, this river, river pouring out. Hopefully my, uh, my soothing voice puts you to sleep. Can you hear the seagulls? There's a few of them squawking over on the right. I know there's a lot of wind. I hope for the wind noise isn't too much. I didn't put the mic on. I was a bit lazy. Boy, this, this mount is, is so tight and it's still slipping. I don't understand. Yep. I'm not sure why the seagulls are up this far. There's really no reason for them to be, be up here, but a couple are up here. The, uh, some of those seagulls might have uh, hatched from eggs recently and they're flying around learning, learning where to find food. So this boat that you're seeing right now has a, has a top on, on it and I don't like a top in that position. Yes, I am the captain, except right now I'm just, uh, th this boat's not, oh my goodness, what was that noise? This boat's not going anywhere except it's swinging around in a, in a crazy fashion. All right, I missed a comment, and I don't know how to swipe up to see it. I'm see the uh, the boat behind me is on a yellow mooring ball. I'm also on a yellow mooring ball, just like that one behind me. And it, that little boat swinging back and forth, and I'm swinging back and forth. And if you could see what's on my right, a slightly larger boat could not fit in here. Uh, I don't. I haven't been on an island. Uh, yeah, well, I try to show you interesting things. I haven't been doing too many scopes because I've been buying a new boat and where I was buying it at didn't have a signal. And I've just been sitting around waiting for, for events to transpire, but the boat's finally here. I've done some things to it. I need to do more things to it. Hitting this... Oh, you are? No, it doesn't seem to have scrolling comments unless I tap on something and, uh, and go back. So, so, Alan, are you going to Star Island? And if so, when are you going? And how are you getting there? You know, we'll give me a chance to answer. I've only been at Star Island for four days this year, which is a bit sad. But hopefully I'm going to get... Uh, no, he's... Uh, all right, let me know. Uh, he's on Cape Cod, not New Jersey. So, if you're going to Star Island very soon, I will be there. I really want to get out of this place. Um, the boat I'm on can't it can't shift, so hopefully the uh, the yard guy at least starts to work on it tomorrow. He forgot me for a week. At least he forgot me for at least a week. And Tuesday is going to be a downpour, so no work will get done on Tuesday. So hopefully it's finished on Wednesday. 
uh, right, right in front of me is a, a boat, kind of a boat rental place. You sign up to be a club, a member of this club, for a monthly fee, and you can take out a boat. Yeah, the Oslo Shoals are off the coast of, of New Hampshire and Maine. The state line runs right through it. So some of the islands, there's five islands in one state and four in the other. They had to, uh, they had to divide them as evenly as they could. So tomorrow morning I get to find out my fate in terms of repairs and getting hauled out. Yep, fishing off P-Town. Hello, Neil Gunn. I hope you enjoyed this this watery scope. Anyone that's just joined, I'm I'm on that yellow mooring ball with an east wind and an outgoing current, and so I'm going to swing around, and eventually the current will die off, and I'll, I'll point the other way. But but for a little while, 30 miles out to sea, that's pretty cool. But eventually I'll point. I'll be facing into the wind, and the current will be coming in gently, and so I won't have all this excitement. I'm so tired of being in this spot. It's fairly quiet, but the current pours in and out. It pours out a lot more than it pours in, if that makes any sense. There's the river's running downstream, so it sort of backs up. Well, I'm thinking of my, my voice is giving out. And I'm thinking of making supper. So, shuttle boat. I don't know what you mean by shuttle boat. I'm in my sailboat, and my dinghy is tied right next to me. And you'll see as I pivot, Right behind me now is everybody else's dinghy. A lot of these spots are empty because I guess I see a couple of dinghies out on boats. I see at least two out on boats right now. And there might be one or two more. What's for supper? I don't know. I'm going to dig into the the, <laughs> the the box of storage and see what I, what comes up. It might be rice and it might be noodles. And it won't be fish. I don't eat seafood. Uh... Uh, I don't know what I know what I know what the headache is a fish, but I have no idea what it looks like. Yeah, this is a lovely spot as long as the wind doesn't blow too much. Um, at this point, the boats are more or less mostly in their in their marinas, so there's very few going by, and when they do go by, they go by slowly. So that's all all good for in terms of not having too many waves. But the challenge here is the current pours in and out. And I almost didn't get out to my boat today. You had seafood, all right. Roddy, Roddy, I have sad news for you. I, I can't state for a fact, but I have a strong suspicion that my new boat is going to have less room than this 29-foot this boat. Well, because I like to travel. This is a sailboat. This isn't a motorboat. Smoothies, all right. Well, there's plenty of breeze. No shortage of wind right now. Um, so, Roddy, my, my 34-foot boat has a higher ceiling, and it's wider, but the end, the back of the boat, is like a canoe shape, and there's zero, there's going to be zero storage in there, basically. Um, the deep storage locker is full of batteries, and, and the hot water tank, and some other odds and ends, so it's like completely allocated for, for that and a few life jackets. So I'm not sure where all my things are going to go. I, I have a, a fallback plan, which will be ugly. Oh yeah, I can sleep on the boat. I can sleep on the new boat. I'm not sure if I'm... Uh... That's right, tomorrow morning... Thanks for reminding me about that, because tomorrow morning I want to see if I can get a mattress made. There's a custom mattress company. If I can get it made in a quick enough fashion, then then good. They can deliver it and put it in. I don't want to be on a on a soft uh, foam foam master mattress. You can get a custom mattress made of springs. Ideally, they come in measure. So that's that's tomorrow morning. I have to call when they open. There's a, a representative somewhere in the area. He'll come up. But they might have that boat in there as a pattern already. Yeah, I think Tigger likes to make uh, complicated concoctions. Now you're using a blender. Maybe that's a stupid question. Maybe all smoothies are made with blenders. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I've been yapping along for, for a while. I'm going to run along and get my supper going. And, oh, oh good gracious. All right, we'll, we'll, let, we'll let you two finish, finish your blender conversation. And then I'm going to scope out. Usually I have dinner much earlier than this, but I had a little snack. So, time to get dinner going. Okay, you're done. All right, everybody, you're done with the conversation. So, everyone, thanks for watching. And everyone, have a good evening, unless you're already in, in Beirut, where it's after midnight. And everyone, have a good sleep tonight. I hope the weather is fine for you all. See you later.